If you've ever tried anything on that says, one size fits all, then you might know from experience that one size certainly does not fit all. The same can be said for the amount of food someone should eat to maintain their weight. The amount of energy someone should consume is determined by the amount of energy that they're using, called energy expenditure. Now everyone has a different energy expenditure. For example, an ultra marathoner might need over 6,500 calories, while a small sedentary female might only need about 1,500 calories to maintain weight. There are certain conditions that may cause changes in energy expenditure. Cancer is one of them. Many individuals with cancer have an energy expenditure that's too high and a dietary intake that's too low. This imbalance will lead to weight loss, which is associated with lower function, lower quality of life, poor response to therapy, and even shorter survival. So clearly, it's best to maintain weight during cancer treatment. About 40% of us in this room will be diagnosed with cancer during our lifetimes. Nutrition is an important part of handling both treatment and recovery. Unfortunately, trying to make accurate dietary recommendations for each individual is like the blind leading the blind. We simply don't know enough about these patients' energy expenditure. Essentially, we know that nutrition is important, but we don't know exactly what to feed patients. My research will set the stage for understanding energy expenditure and thus dietary needs in cancer. I'm measuring energy expenditure at rest in relation to what patients are eating, the amount of muscle and fat they have, their quality of life, and subjective measures of physical activity. Importantly, I'm measuring these before and after cancer therapy so I can assess the change in these variables. Another project will take this a step further and assess total energy expenditure. I'm using an advanced technique that objectively measures all the calories used each day, including the calories used at rest, during activity, and even the calories used to digest food. Though this technique has been used in hundreds of studies in other populations, it has only been used one other time in cancer. For the first time, we'll have a comprehensive profile of energy expenditure in cancer. This can be used to guide future evidence-based nutrition recommendations for weight maintenance. So many of us will be affected by cancer in our lifetimes. And just as one size fits all does not apply to clothing, it should not apply to what individuals with cancer are told to eat. Thank you.